Okay, people. Doing our teardrop uh, build, I didn't know which fenders to go with. Really don't want to spend the $400 for some of the, uh, the old school uh, 50 style, 20 style fenders. So I just decided to do something for now until maybe later we could do uh, a fender that we really fell in love with. and I ordered the cheapest fenders that they had and I think it was like 50 something dollars for the two fenders together and uh, this is how they come they come in two pieces you get a, a shield and then just a piece of uh, a fender and this is one of the two you get two fenders in a set with two shields and uh, basically I'm just taking my little welder my little 125 score welder and I'm tacking this backing plate onto it now I laid it up here and I put my backing plate up but I got two and a half inches space on the front two and a half inches of the space on the back but here's where you, you got a little pay a little attention you got a 90 degree curve here but up here it's rounded over so this is the fender that's going to go on the outside of the vehicle that you're welding it up for and this is the part that's going to be mounted to the trailer now after I get through um, tacking this up, we're going to prime it, we're going to paint it, and then we're going to put drill holes and then put bolts through the shield and through the fender together, and then we're going to mount it onto the side of our trailer that we got over here, our teardrop trailer. And um, I went on YouTube to see if I could find a video, I really couldn't find anybody that was explaining the whole process, so I figured I would do a little film just kind of uh, show people out there that if you go with these cheap fenders, they come in sections and you need to weld them up. And this is kind of how you go about doing it. Just get a little welder and just, uh, just do little tack welds all the way around. That'll hold it through. And then uh, at least that would hold it good enough to get them up there and put bolts through it. But we're gonna do tack welds all the way around. So stay tuned. All right, right now we're putting on primer. And we're gonna let the primer drive. It's an oil-based primer. I just got it at Ace Hardware. But bring it out of the shade. Just your standard uh, Rust-Oleum primer, oil-based, is what we're using to do this with. And this is the same one we use to build our trailer with. But we're gonna get these things primed up, and then we're gonna move on to painting. Okay, we got our fenders mounted. As you can see here, the uh, automotive quality urethane clear coat on this paint caused it to bubble. And so we just went through and scraped it off. Uh, we didn't know that. Generally, I would take it, put it in an air hose and do a fine mist spray on. That's what I've done with the auto body work that I've done in the past. This time we took a brush and when we brushed it on, it bubbled up. So lesson learned. So we'll scrape this down, give it another sand, put the black paint back on it, and then uh, I'm going to take you around and show you the other fender, which we put resin on. Okay, now this fender, after Michelle put the uh, finished putting the paint on, she came over and she put a resin on it, taped around it, and made sure we didn't get it on the cabin. And uh, with the polyurethane resin on it, or with yeah, the, the resin that we put for the fiberglass. We put a coat on the fenders as well. And uh, I like the way it looks, looks good. <clears throat> Basically all we did was we put a two by four block on top of the tire. That gave us three and a half inches over the tire. Took our tape measure and we made sure it was center. 
and uh, we had already pre-drilled our, ho our holes on the rims and through the butt black pl back plate in five areas. And so we just uh, drilled a hole in our cabin, put a nut and washer on the back side inside the cabin, put a two inch uh, bolt in there, carriage bolt. So the carriage bolt head is on the inside and the lock nut and washer is on this side. And uh, Michelle get the camera up here and she can show you one of those bolts, just kind of give you an idea of how it, how it looks in there. So nothing really to talk about. It's just right on the edge through both sheets of metal and into the wall and then secured with a uh, washer and lock nut. And uh, that's what we've done to the fender. So as soon as this dries, as soon as some of our other projects dry, we're gonna get over there and get started on that fender, but we'll go ahead and call it quits on the front on the little fender uh, video that we did. And we're gonna move on to uh, finishing this project up. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.